Hello everybody. In this video, I will show how we can use the ESP32 NTRIP Duo version of the ESP32 XP in order to send correction data from a single base station to two NTRIP casters, for example, Onokoi and RTK Direct for dual cryptocurrency mining, or if you are so inclined, send one data stream to, for example, Onokoi and the other one to RTK to go so everybody can access your correction data for free. Okay then, so here is a screenshot of the ESP32 XP, which we have been using in previous videos. If you haven't watched them and want to see how to install the XP version, a uh, link to the playlist is above. But we have been using the Entrip client and the Entrip server so far. There are also other features in the software, for example, the Entrip caster down here or the UDP socket server and client, which actually will become subject of a video I am planning. So if you're interested in that, I suggest you subscribe so you won't miss the video or check out the playlist because maybe I already have done it by the time you watch this video. In any case, here is the Entrip Duo version, which comes at the expense of not being able to do the Entrip caster and socket functionality here, but it has the advantage that now you have two Entrip servers, A and B, and one Entrip client, which allows you to send correction data, for example, to Onokoi here and RTK to go in my case. All right, so let's get started installing the dual version. And for that, we have to go to GitHub. So the first thing you have to do is to download the binary file by simply clicking on here and downloading the, the raw file to a convenient location. So I will just put this into my temp file here, save, and then it is actually easier than installing the XP version by simply using the ESP home uh, tool here. So we have to first connect our ESP and then you should be able to find your ESP here. In my case, it is attached to COM8. So I will connect here and then we have to click on install here and navigate to the file we have just downloaded. So again, this should be in my temp folder here, right here, and simply click install. And this will then connect and flash your ESP. So this will be a little while to finish. So let's fast forward. All right. And once the installation has completed, we probably want to disconnect our ESP and restart it. And then once you restart your ESP, hopefully if you go into your Wi-Fi connection, you should see that your ESP is available as a Wi-Fi hotspot and you should connect to it. And once you have connected to it, you should be able to use the IP address 192.168.4.1 to connect to your device. So here we go. And it all looks again very much the same than before, except now we have two of those servers here. And also if you have a keen eye, I now installed several more of those LEDs here, which will actually indicate to us uh, under what mode our ESP32 Entrip Duo is operating. So for example, if I click on here and click, uh, turn the red light on and I resubmit it, then hopefully after some time, you will see that we now have this red LED staying on, indicating that we have a Wi-Fi hotspot connection. So again, it is probably then also a good idea to turn on all the security settings, uh, connect your device to your local Wi-Fi, again, with a security password. But then if I go to my up and running device, which for me has the IP address uh, 53 here, and I have protected it by a password. So here then is my uh, Entrip Duo, which is connected to my antenna on the roof. And you can see that I'm sending data to Onokoi for those sweet, sweet uh, crypto rewards. And also at the same time, I'm sending data to RTK to go. So everybody has access to this correction data. 
personally, I'm actually not completely comfortable sending data to RTK direct somehow. The website looks still a little bit sketchy to me. In any case, if you decide to send data to RTK to go, please leave a comment in the in the video because I'm planning to collect all the RTK to go uh, base stations, which will hopefully pop up as a result of this video series. So if this was useful to you, please give it a like and consider to maybe subscribe and goodbye.